leave Bumble. Go somewhere else where men have to approach you. You don't have to push men, but if you go on Bumble, that's when you have to. So, the question is, do you have, no, do you, I'm talking to you, do you have the basic human interaction? Because, hey, Bumble says, ladies, the rule is, you have to approach first. So, do you have it? If you don't, get out of Bumble. It's that simple. There is no need to fight. Get out of Bumble. It's that simple. Ah. But you know what? Let's move on. So far, she got nothing to say, I guess. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Back with another video. This is TOV, the Open Fair TV. Before we move on, go back and smash that like button. Yes, the thumb up button. Also, subscribe, ring the bell. That way, you don't miss when I put another video out. Now, today's topic. Today's topic, we have this woman here ranting about Bumble. But before she gets to that Bumble part, let's, actually, let me just fix that, that camera. Before we get to that Bumble part, let's see what she has to say first. Actually, I'm going to put the link in the description down below. That way you guys can actually look it up. It's 70 minutes, but I'm not going to do the whole 70 minutes. So when you guys see the link on the, on, the, on the description, you can use it and get the whole content. But right now, we're just going to look at that interesting part only. Let's continue. Because it's really hard to like write about yourself. Like, if someone was to ask you, like, well, what are your hobbies? You're like, eating? I don't know. And that's how we end up with these super generic profiles. Just say, like, I like having fun. I like trying new things. What the, f girl, come on, come on. I've done a whole video on profiles, but if you want a little profile help on your own, like, I can go through with you and I can make it for you, uh, find me on the Instago app and we can do that. But let's talk about, yeah, Bumble. Oh. Bumble, Bumble, Bumble. I'm sorry, my bangs are... Uh, Let's talk about right, Bumble. I'm just going to put my hair behind my ears. Man. I'm going to have to look like a big potato head for the rest of the video, and you're all just going to have to deal with it. Here's why I don't like Bumble, okay? The whole deal with Bumble is that girls say hi first. And Bumble's like, hey, you're empowered. You've got the control. What? So, what is the big deal? That's what she was gonna ask next. I mean, no, let's let's redo really it. What's the big deal? It's just saying hi. Okay, so imagine this. Imagine from day one, you step foot on planet Earth as a woman. From day one, um, that you become. It's seen and you start developing 
breast and getting bigger cleavage and all of these things and can you recount how many times men say hi to you first i don't think you're going to you're gonna be like oh i lost count imagine i don't know how old she is i don't even care either but i'm probably sure she's probably in her 40s maybe um but let's say you've been having at least 10 to 15 years of men coming to you saying hi to you and the one time the one time you have to say hi to a man oh this is evil what hold on so here's the thing to all the women out there the idea of bumble is of course for a woman to approach a man great if you feel empowered let's see how empowered you are unless you're a weak empowered woman but hey you know but it's not that hard to say hi it's just two it's a two-letter word h i hi that's it so you can even you can even wow you can even say hi eh let's move on hear me now hmm. if it's so not a big deal to say hi to someone with your thumbs on an app while you sit on the toilet why can't guys do it Here's who's on Bumble. Wait a minute. Who's been doing that the whole time? Isn't it us men? Or is it you women? Who's been going out to say hi to the opposite gender first? For the longest time, longest time in planet Earth. In planet Earth, about 6,000 years of human life on it. Who's been doing that first? Even in the animal kingdom, it's the male that goes after the female. So we've been doing that for a long time. So don't be complaining that it is all of a sudden evil that you are empowered, you got the power, but then you feel powerless to say hi to a man. That's a weak argument. But since you got no substance, let's see what else you're gonna say. Fuck boys. Sitting there, dicks waiting to be sucked, thinking the girls, girls should be competing for them. The so when the men go on the other apps, so who do we have there? Would we say the same thing for women? The the bleep women? The blimp girls with their vagina waiting to be sucked. Oh, so now you don't like that part. Because you see, you can take it both ways. You can take it both ways. So, hold on. But let's see what she has to say. It's like, what do you got? Oh, that's your opening line? Mm. Oh, you went out and said that? Mm. Look at the pictures? No. How about you? Mm. No. Um, yeah, so we, us men, we get rejected. I don't know how many times. Actually, how many times have you been rejected? Psh, can't count. But guess what? If I see a girl that I want to talk to, I'm going to go and talk to her. It's just that simple. Wait, you can't even you do you guys don't like are you afraid of rejection? Maybe. But you see, um when your woman sees a man, uh he's only five eight, five nine, no. I'm five I'm five one, but I wanna run with six three. Oh he's what? Oh no, he's bald nah. He's not that cute. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Oh, I have a boyfriend. Isn't that what you guys do? Oh. But now, all of a sudden, 
when we now, as men, because now we don't have values, we know we don't have a clock ticking, you know, and it's you <laughs> that's going to be desperate to have babies. We can be like, just relax and sit back and be like, eh, let the best win. Yeah, what I have to do is just sit back and wait for the girl because they're going to come to me because they're going to be desperate to get a man. So, hey, I'm going to pick and choose the hardest one. That's how it works. But let's move on. No is right. That's a big no from Shallon. I'm going to play devil's advocate and tell you the other side of the bumble coin in a minute. But first, I want to bitch about it because I'm not down with this construct. If Again, if it's so not a big deal to reach out to someone, why can't guys do that for us? If that is too emotionally risky for them, if that is just like a bridge too far, that's not someone I need to be with. If he can't develop the basic human interaction skills to come to a woman and say, hi, what's your name? I saw your profile. Like, who knows your name? But like, I have a question. Why can't you do the same thing? Why can't you have the basic human interaction with a man? You see, Woman is like you. Female is like you. That giving, that are giving women a horrible or even evil um, information should not, or I should be that, should not get a man. So that those other women can see that your information that you are spewing out is not working for you either. Yeah, you got boyfriends, but have they ever married you? No. So yeah, you can think about all the boyfriends you had, but if they never married you, then it's pointless. Your your information is useless. So stop lying to the women to say, oh, if the men cannot come to you, if the man lacks the basic human interaction skills, no, 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 no. How about you? Do you have the basic interaction skills? Yeah, you are empowered. But when it comes to, when it comes to talking to a man, you feel powerless. You're not empowered. This looks cool. Did you travel to Patagonia? Is that your dog? Something. If he can't come up with a hello and a question to a person he knows absolutely nothing about, what what do you think that relationship is actually going to be like? Question. If women didn't want to approach men, why are they on Bumble? Think about that. If you have a hard time approaching men, why are you on Bumble? Leave Bumble. Go somewhere else where men have to approach you. You don't have to push men, but if you go on Bumble, that's when you have to. So the question is, do you have, no, do you, I'm talking to you, do you have the basic human interaction? Because hey, Bumble says, ladies, the rule is you have to approach first. So, do you have it? If you don't, get out of Bumble. It's that simple. There is no need to fight. Get out of Bumble. It's that simple. But you know what? Let's move on. So far, she got nothing to say, I guess. Because, like I've always said, men are hunters, right? And when you picture a hunter out on the savannah, what happens... If he has this idea that the wildebeest should come to him. Um, funny thing, lions are hunters, but most of the times when they chase is when the the beast or the 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 buffaloes, the wildebeest, the zebras, they are coming towards onto their property, onto their territories. 
they don't usually go out of their territory to hunt. Sometimes the animal comes to their territory and then, because you see, lions are not going to travel um, 60 miles to go hunt animal. The animal comes to their territory and that's when they hunt. So your analogy is already <laughs> faulty. Maybe you get, maybe you should use a better one. Mineral, mineral hunters? No, no, no. We, we hunt for what we like. If we don't like you, we don't go after you. But since you have that thing of, oh, sexual harassment, sexual harassment, well, we're like, you know what? We're not gonna hurt anymore. We're gonna sit back. Like, we're gonna be like the snake. No, most snakes sometimes they just sit back and then they camouflage and then the prey comes in and snatch it. We're gonna be just like that. Like lions stay in our territory and wait for the prey to come into our territory. Then we attack. But you wouldn't understand that. It's okay. Let's move on. Probably he's gonna starve to death, right? No. That's not gonna go super well for him. I don't see I just explained to you how lions kill why dating should have to be any different. If he's too weak and too beta to approach a woman on the internet, I'm not saying he has to walk across a crowded cafeteria, like climb a mountain to meet her. Beep, bop, boop, boop, boop. There it is. If he can't do that, why are we, and I've said this before, closing the gap between who he is as a man and who he needs to be? Why? Um, first of all, you as a woman cannot define what a man should be like. Only a man can. You can have your preferences. That's a different story. You can have your preferences. You can be like, oh, I wish the man was like this or like that. But because he's not approaching you, he's not a man anymore? Or he's not what he's supposed to be? Come on, give me a break with that nonsense. The foolishness. Why is that our job? Because you know what? Guys don't do it for us. Who we are as women rests on our shoulders no matter what. What's a guy going to do? Is he going to go on birth control? No. Is he going to get pregnant and have the babies? No. Guess what? We carry them the whole time. Those sperms, we carry th those babies, we carry them the whole time. So we carry them longer than you do. The only thing is, when you, when 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 you get inside of you, it <laughs> you get the point. But we carry it the whole time. So you know, guys, that's a waste of time. See, not a waste of time, but that's that's. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't know. Let me just make it to at least where I'm gonna stop. Is he gonna pick out the hostess gifts for his mom's stupid Christmas party every year? No. That is going to be you, and it will be you, and this is women's work forever. You can talk all you want about gender roles, and I'm a feminist. Girl, if you think doing a man's work is feminism and equality, you have been bamboozled by the patron. Yeah, okay, never mind. She got nothing to say. Because she's already bamboozled, bamboozled I guess how do you call it, by the femaleism and womanism. Um, you wanted equality, right? Yeah, then you got it. You got it. That's all about it. Guys, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and ring that bell. Uh, um, yeah, that was actually TOV, the Open View TV. Until then, I'm out.